Well, we are unbeaten in nine in all competitions, and we've won three successive matches 4-1. Surely today is going to have some goals. Hey guys, welcome at a small football manager 2018 and part 6 of the Rovers return and today we have two matches both in League 1, one against Oxford, one against Bristol Rovers and yeah, let's have a look at how we've done since the last episode. Um, which was the 4-3 victory against Wigan. We then beat Torquay 4-1 in the FA Cup first round, Samuel Graham and Antonsen scoring as well as Chapman. We then beat uh, Rochdale 4-1 in the Czech Trade Trophy. Graham getting two, Samuel scoring and Smallwood also on the score sheet. We then beat Berry 4-1 in the league with Danny Graham getting two and then Bennett and Antonsen scoring there. So, um, that means that we're currently in third in League 1. Three points behind league as MK Dons, who have a game in hand over us. But hopefully we can close that down as we go throughout the season. This is the team that we're going to go for today. We've got Rea in goal with Caddis down and Mulgrew and Hart in defence. We've then got Smallwood um, as our defensive midfielder. Gladwin as our central midfielder. Chapman as our left midfielder. And Feeney as our right winger. And then um, Shamak will start up top against with Antonsen. So... A bit of a weaker um, sort of duo up top, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we should hopefully get some goals out of it. Um, and we should be able to beat Oxford. They're in 10th place at the moment, and hopefully we can get a, a good result against them. Thank you for all of the support on the series so far. Um, hopefully this series will settle down into its schedule. I can't promise that we will be doing Sunday and Monday, um, probably one or the other. I'm actually a bit busy this weekend, so it is going to be it's going to be difficult to to get two episodes out for that time. Um, but we might replace uh, Sunday's episode with something uh, or other. I don't I don't really know yet. I'm just struggling to find time at the moment. Um, just things going on uh, that are out of my control and and just sort of running out of time to record and. It's a little bit stressful, and a lot of that has been down to the Journeyman episode. Uh, that's going to come out tomorrow, uh, the 100 episode special, uh, and I've been working very hard on that, so time to do other things has been a little bit diminished this week, but hopefully things will return to normal in the next couple of weeks, and uh, I know you guys understand uh, totally, so thank you very much for that. Um, Gladwin and Antonsen have picked up injuries, that's really not good. Uh, so let's give them the good old Hanard Rolligan at half time uh, I think we have to bring Danny Graham on which is a shame because he deserves a rest but Antonson just wasn't doing anything here's Smallwood nothing happens there uh, I should have probably took Shamak off you know he's done absolutely nothing Marwan Shamak so yeah, Eastwood gets it away. Hart. Now Van Kessel. Now Ruffles. Good tackle. Here's Musinio. Forward. Rea comes out to collect. Thank goodness he did that. Rea. On the ball. Gets it forward towards Graham. Header down now to Shamak. Poor pass. Really poor pass. Nelson forward. Hart. Ooh, Gladwin. No. Well, Gladwin was famously sacked from my journeyman career, so um, you'll see that moment in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Van Kessel, Hall, and it's 1-0 um, Oxford, which is really not good for us. Um, you know what? In light of sort of the, the recording and all of that, not having much time, I think doing two matches today might just be a bit much, so we will stick to one one game in this this episode so i do apologize about that another short episode but um just trying to get things back on track and i think rather than do two matches um while we're down in league one i think uh keeping it to to one match might be a good thing especially if it's as rubbish as this we don't want to watch anything else <laughs> um 65 minutes in this isn't good. This really isn't good. I mean, how many blooming injuries are we going to pick up today? Oh, this is just really pathetic. It really is. Uh, 
and we're going to go attacking. We're going to go very fluid as well. And we might have to think about changing the tactic, to be honest with you. Good header by Hart. Now here's Shamak. Can he get it forward? Come on. Chapman. Forward to Graham. Good header. Payne. Ruffles. Now to Payne. Ooh, it's still going. Payne. Good save by Rhea. Come on. I mean, we've had two shots all game. This is just not good enough. Ledson. Good tackle by Niambi. Now Shamak. Get it forward, son. Get it forward. He gets it forward to Danny Graham, who's been pulled back for a penalty. It was a good ball from Shamak there. We now have a penalty. Danny Graham's probably going to miss it um, because of how poorly we've played. Oh, but it's one all. He's put it into the back of the net. He is just stood there, though. Oh, I was really hoping he wasn't injured. What happened to him? Oh, he was just there celebrating. That's absolutely fine. It's one all. And to be honest, considering we've been out of the game, I don't really think we deserve this. And oof, Oxford nearly put us in our place there. Come on, lads. Demand more. Five minutes to go. Can we nick a special victory here? Doesn't look like it. Nelson with a throw. Ruffles, and it's full time. It's one all. Bit of a boring match, to be honest with you. And I'm, I'm sorry that it is just going to be the one match today. But uh, with with everything going on at the moment, I think that's that's justified, and uh, and things should be back to normal in the next couple of weeks. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me. It really does help out the channel as well. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.